All right, next up we have Karen. Karen's one of those characters that have trouble doing some of her specials. So we'll see how we how everything goes. So I'm going to do all 10 of them. I'll explain some tips and tricks as I go along. And if the combo is simple enough, I won't do any explanation. We'll just keep it moving. All right, number two by itself isn't very difficult, but I figured I'll take the time to kind of explain the different ways that I do the moves. Now with a, a fight stick, you kind of have an advantage with this because you can, you can use any of the buttons to do the run, and then you can cancel with any other button. So you have a little bit more options, but the technique I usually do, especially if I'm just, just doing it on its own, and I'm going down, down, forward, forward, and I'm doing, usually in this case, it's actually going to be light kick at the heavy punch, but it doesn't really matter. Could be any. See? Any combination that's comfortable for you. But that comes out super fast. But the problem is that it's so fast that doing that from a normal, just like with like a fireball, it doesn't always come out. So sometimes you have to um, wait a second like that. So in this case, it's not really the combo. This this one has the variation though. So if you just do the the uh, fireball motion with kick, and you cancel with down and punch, you get the shoulder instead of the launch. And that is tricky, especially when you're going super fast because you're canceling before it gets a chance to register you're hitting down. So you have to do something a little different with that. So in this case, I'm doing fireball motion, and then I'm hitting, then I'm hitting back before I actually hit light kick, heavy punch. Of course, it doesn't matter what you hit, right? So I'm doing. You kind of have to try to get it before you hit the punch button. Just make sure you you practice that. If you can't do this consistently, you're gonna have a lot of trouble with Karen. All right, so for number three, so when you do the, the quarter circle back with a light punch, you actually get, you get this like kind of overhead style. It's not really an overhead, but you get this hit here and you can follow up with other commands as well. So once you do the move, you can time it or you can double tap it or you can just keep tapping the kick button and then the move will come out. So this is actually a really easy one. All right, for number four, so we have just a launcher, but we're doing it from medium. So you just hit medium, punch, hit that by itself, and then do your motion. I was doing it perfectly before. Okay, so like, I gotta add a little bit of more time between my kick and my punch, and that'll come out. But from here, if you're doing this in the corner, there's a good chance you might miss. You could still connect, I think, with the V skill. But when you're not in the corner, you just gotta you just gotta press it and it'll come out and it'll combo. It's not it's not all that difficult. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. In my opinion, this is one of the hardest ones. To complete so what you have here is obviously your basic jump in and you're starting off your dash your dashes with the crouching medium now there's a couple different ways to do this but I find the easiest way to do it is you do medium but you gotta wait a second and try to do the quarter circle forward light kick or it doesn't have to say it doesn't have to be like kick. I just say that out of, out of habit it's kick into punch and you're gonna have to do it fast and make sure your fireball motion comes out smooth now I seem to have more luck if I press if I press down and then 
try to do the combo after. So I'll press down, let go, and then do the fireball motion to the thing. Just for some reason, it it's a little bit more consistent, but even I still mess it up even now. Say like that. Okay. So from there, now you'll notice that sometimes you'll get a different version of this move here. She actually says a different thing. If you take longer, also the juggle will be different too. If you notice there, she says right there, right? I'm pretty sure this one you can't do. You can still actually juggle the move, but it's not what the combo is calling for. You have to have that one where it does the flips. And then from there, you have to do you have to do the shoulder. And this is where things get a little tricky. So you can practice that on your own, but since this this whole thing is pretty short, um, there's really no need to practice that into the shoulder because you want to be able to go through the whole thing because you're still going to have to do it again, and it you know it's just a challenging thing. So take your time and uh, try to go through the whole combo. You're going to get the launch a lot, but it's the shoulder part. You're going to have to You're going to have to practice that. Like even I can't get that to work. And notice the distance too. That she can cover a lot of distance. And if you if you do it too fast, you can actually stop the distance. So there's a lot of different variations. This one's a real pain. It's going to take me forever to do this one, but uh, that's pretty much the techniques that I use. So it's frustrating, but there's really nothing else to this one other than to try to juggle that in there. So good luck and I wish me luck. Alright, hopefully you were able to complete number six. I know it was difficult for me. Uh, number seven, this one really isn't too bad. You just have to be able to cancel the shoulder into a super. So what I usually do for this, so your normal is the heavy punch and you're gonna do the down forward kick. And then, you just, this is actually not too bad. Plenty of time. It's two separate motions. Do that a bunch of times and then all of a sudden you're going to be able to feel comfortable doing a super now basically when you're hitting down down in the punch button to do the the shoulder that's when you want to do down forward down forward so you can do that before you even do the whole combo like this and that's all there is to that it's uh that's a nice refresher <laughs> compared to number six for me All right, so for number eight, you're going to be using a V trigger. Now the V trigger skill gives you some of the original combos that you would have gotten with Street Fighter Alpha three, where so right now if you do uh, like the Hadouken motion, you get nothing. But in V trigger, you actually get this move here. So if you just do that once, nothing happens. But if you double tap at the end, you get an extra little extra little um, move there. So you're going to be doing that, but you're going to be doing that from a juggle because you're going to want to do the little launcher move there, as I call it. So if you want to practice that, put in V-Trigger. See right there, I just kind of just kept tapping the button. There's really no reason to try to time everything where you could just tap it and get it. But... Just keep in mind, you might need to have the last hit uh, work in order for the combo to go through, but chances are it's probably going to come out. So this one, thankfully, isn't too bad. Otherwise, it's just a normal V-trigger and combo into a normal from heavy punch to medium punch. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so for level 9, you have a couple normals and you have the EX dash into shoulder 
Now that causes a fall down. So in this point here, you're gonna have to hit V trigger, but you need to wait until Ryu kind of lands on his knees. You can't do it earlier than that. It doesn't really cancel. So what you wanna do is once, oops, I didn't mean to hit him that time, but let's try this again. Somewhere around there, that might have even been too late, but you want to be able to juggle him in to that move, and then just obviously hit him, get one more input near the end to get that last move in. And uh, that should, really should be it for this one. So if you're not getting the combo, it's most likely because you're not hitting your V-trigger after after the midway point of his, uh, his crumple. All right, so for this one, in order to practice it, it's gonna be a little funny because the last part, it's actually during a juggle. If you try to do, let's, just so you know what I'm talking about, if you do V trigger and you do this move here, that's the first attack. Then if you hit down again, you get a little extra shoulder or you get a little extra uh, elbow action. And then if you hit down again, she does the behind hit. Now, obviously he's on the ground, so he's gonna block it. But since he's going to be in a juggle state, it's all going to combo. So what happens is in the very last hit, you're going to be on the other side. And then you're just buffering super from that. It's really not that challenging. But you just got to make sure that's what you need to do. And if you want to practice that, it's going to be a little tricky. But let's see what we can do here. All right. So we're going to V-trigger. He's not going to be juggled and he's going to block, but that's okay. One, two, like that. Try that again. One, two, super. Do that a few times so it feels fluid and then go ahead and try to do the combo. Do it all in one shot. It's gonna be juggling and uh, you should be all right with this one. All right, that is going to do it for Karen. Hopefully that helped you out. I know she's got a couple tricky ones in there. She's pretty challenging to use, but you just got to be persistent and take your time and you'll get through it, hopefully. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next video.